All right, so <clears throat> I have my uh, other tabs from the last tutorial open. Uh, I'm going to go over. Uh, so ignore the other ones. I'm not going to use those. Uh, and some something else I got distracted on about Russia, Ukraine. But anyways, um, going to talk about rent on Solana. Should be pretty quick. Um, just wanted to sort of explain what it is. Basically, um, there's a couple things to go over about um, rent. Uh, so one is, um, you know, what's the purpose? <laughs> uh, and then, like, just background. The other one is um, Moore's Law. So first off, what's the purpose? Well, if you're storing data, um, you uh, need to somehow pay to store that data, right? Because uh, nobody's going to do it for free. <laughs> and... Um, and then besides that, Solana is unique in that it has a lot of data. You know, if it's going to do thousands of transactions per second, uh, that's a lot more than, you know, something like Ethereum, which does, I don't know, I think like seven transactions per second or something. Somebody can correct me on that, but something like that. In that range, seven, that order of magnitude, ten, whatever. Um, okay, so, it, so in other words, it needs to store a lot of data. Um, I don't really get how it works exactly, but somehow they partnered with Arweave, so they sort of store data on there or something. I don't know. And then it's interesting because they store, they it creates so much data. That now I'm going on a different rant, but it creates they create so much data that sometimes certain RPC nodes uh, won't even store past a certain point. So you know you try to look at a transaction from say six months ago, and you'll get not found, but it does exist but it's just not stored because there's so much data that nobody actually really stores the full uh, chain per se. Okay, so so the first thing is, you know, what is rent? Well, you gotta pay to store the data. Um, so, right, it says right here, the documentation, maintain a working copy of this state in memory. All right, um, second thing is Moore's Law. So, um, you know, if you have a, uh, you know, uh, how do I explain this? Well, basically, you know, at some point, may maybe you learned about convergence or not, calculus or whatever. But um, you know, if things decrease at a at a nonlinear rate, that's uh, sort of uh, how do you say? It? At, at certain types of nonlinear rates, um, they'll basically converge to a number, right? So, like one example is. Um, I th uh, like if I if I take one plus one half plus one fourth plus one eighth, uh, you see the numbers decreasing at a nonlinear rate because it's kind of going down like this, right? And if I keep adding it plus one sixteenth plus one thirty second plus one sixty fourth, etc. Um, if I if I add all of those up until infinity, it gets it, you end up getting. Let's say I add them up to the hundred thousandth number, you get to one point nine 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 more and more, and you keep adding more and more numbers, you, you actually just get extremely close to two that we just call it two. <laughs> so, um, you know, so that's that's conversion. So what happens with rent is basically Solana's betting effectively that hardware will, hardware costs will continue to drop by 50%. Uh, if they don't, well, <laughs> I mean, we'll see what happens, but I, I guess, you know, let's assume that's a good good estimate um, and th they, they probably have some data to back that up right I'm not an expert on that so who knows maybe you know but if they're not I mean that's kind of scary who knows what would happen but besides that let's assume it does drop so they're saying it drops 50% every two years right and so what happens is it converges so therefore if the cost of storing your data is dropping by that rate then by the same analogy as one plus one half plus one fourth etc which converges to the paying to store it for two years, let's say that costs one dollar, then paying to store it for another two years costs fifty cents, and another two years is twenty-five cents. That also would then converge to say two dollars or whatever the price is. So the idea with rent is that there's a certain depending on how much you're storing, a certain amount that you can put into the account that will allow you to exist there forever because it converges. Um, and uh, if you put less than that, from my understanding, what happens is, like, let's say, you know, you just, it's two, but you have to, but you put one in the account, um, one whatever unit, um, 
then well, from my understanding what happens is that uh, it will drain it so it'll take the payment for storing the memory and then if you don't resupply uh, so in other words it reaches zero you don't resupply before it reaches zero then what will happen is uh, the account is just no longer stored in memory okay or the account or whatever so um, that's basically what rent is you're paying to store the memory and you can effectively purchase the memory so it's sort of rent but it's also sort of like lease to own kind of thing um, kind of, uh, you know sort of so it's not not entirely rent in that sense uh, but but yeah so so yeah that's uh, that's how I understand it possible I got something wrong if uh, you guys got something else uh, just add it in the chat or the comments and uh, I'd be happy to review it so thank you have a good day